What's good, guys? And basically, the new behind the scenes of October ha has just came out, and I just want to talk about it and the XP note and the fate cards. So let's just go with the fate cards for now. So if you click them, you could a huge section will pop up, and you could choose which one you want. I really recommend the insta kill darts and using them at next. I heard that uh, I've seen a bunch of people get to get Torva, so I really recommend it. Uh, I'm gonna get it for and do Jed with it. Well, not Jed, but Harkin. So that's something cool. Now, I believe dodging death heals you if you die. This kills you. Insta kill dart kills uh, any monster in one hit. Insta heal just heals you up automatically. And and I th I'm not sure about prayer, but he heals you up. And remote banking uh, makes you you just click it and then a bank pops up and you can just deposit all your shit, which is pretty cool. But um. Yeah, so let me pause the video and show you uh, the XP note. Okay, guys, so the XP note is right here. It's called the promissory sorry note. I know someone's going to correct me in the comments. But if you open it and you can use it on any skill, I will be using them. I'll be using it on um, agility. So 700k on agility. And what the fuck? God damn Jagex. Jagex. Jagex, what are you doing guys? Fuck. It's only 700k. That was 750. So good fight. But I basically got, I'm going to get 80, 98 agility eventually. So yeah, let's pause the video and I want to show you guys uh, the behind the scenes of October 2012. Basically, the reward will be a skull helmet. I don't know where it says that. Oh yeah, skeleton mask. And you will get double XP when training prayer up to a maximum of 251,000 XP using the altar in the house or anything so make sure you like stock up on dragon bones that's really all I can say and um, that's really basically it and something uh, yeah if you do quest uh, uh, five quests I don't we don't know which ones yet but basically five of the people in the quest that specific quest will help you or maybe you're gonna have to get their thing. So let's say, I don't know, um, you kill a nomad, maybe you have to get his sword. Just saying, something like that. Now something really interesting of the King Black Dragon. I was reading through this, and they're adding the best. Uh, they're adding ornament kits for the Dragon Kite Shield, and um, where does it? Oh, also they're gonna add a uh, prayer gloves. And these gloves are the best for prayer. These, yeah. So I'm not sure how that's gonna work. I, don't, I doubt it's gonna be better the, than the barrels gloves. But let's just say you're doing pyramid plunder. I think it'll be really useful. So uh, make sure you check that out. And if you and there's gonna be like an edge fill teleport that teleports you right to the KBD. Or if you go through the wildy, you'll get a 10% damage multiplier. And um, yeah, if you go to the wildy and go to the KBD. Now, this really interests me because I could see a bunch of people barraging people or forecasting at, uh, the, in the wildy when it comes out. So, I really recommend that, um, uh, that you do it the other way. Oh, and, uh, I didn't mention those blood, blood, I mean, gloves and boots that are going to give the highest prayer bonus. So, that's pretty interesting. I just said gloves, so. That's basically it. Uh, here and here's the picture. Wait, right here. So I think that's pretty cool. Wait, he has three heads. No, I'm joking. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Troll. Anyway, the dungeon updates. Wait, speaking about the heads, they look better now. Maybe that's the reason why I was like, I was like with three heads. Cause look at them. It looks different their heads by far anyway dungeon updates four dungeons will be updated graphically updated so taverly dungeon from slayer dungeon the chaos tunnels and brimhaven dungeon i'm really interested in the chaos tunnels i wonder how they do that it's gonna be interesting later on this month there will be goblins right oh, i believe this is gonna be a oh yeah it's free and members update 
Now the th the cool thing about it, it's it's low uh for low players, people that uh are new to the game mostly. But I was reading through it and they're gonna have goblin armor and axe and two goblin shields, which is pretty interesting. And uh, guys, if you've seen a goblin male like that that thing that they drop, I, I thought I always thought when I was a noob that you could wear it and then I would always spam it and then I could never wear it. So hopefully, you know, I don't know. They should have. They should. A long time ago, they should have made that goblin male or a uh, wieldable for a human. So that's what I was. I always thought, but that's one thing. And if you didn't notice, it says off offer combat XP multipliers. So that's really really interesting. Uh, it's probably gonna be really bad as it's a low level update. And over here, it's a free in members. It's called What's Mine Is Yours. And I was reading through it, and something that really popped in, into me is this is a quest from. It's gonna override the Doric's quest, so it won't be there anymore. It'll be replaced basically. And it's a low level requirements, and but you can get high rewards if you have high level smithing or mining. So you could either get, I mean, you can get 13k mining XP, 48 smithing XP, and an amulet that gives you double mining or smithing. I'm going to do mining because I fucking hate mining. That's a total of 144k XP, which is a lot. Halloween event. Uh, there's really nothing. You could just gain small amounts of prayer XP. An ectoplasm, which is pretty cool. So basically, if you kill a ghost, it basically buries their bone you know like let's just say if they would drop bones it w and you had a bone crusher on you it would give you xp right now it's going to be the same thing but it's going to be with ghosts and so it's going to finally be not I, I guess this is like the only non-cosmetic uh holiday item you can actually get and it's like the bone crusher but it's only for ghosts and all that shit that and barrel brothers and all and revenants so i guess that's pretty cool and hopefully you can get it back really easily so that's really useful. I know I'm carrying down some of my Slayer tasks. Duel Arena tweaks. Uh, uh, this is just a bunch of new features, a rematch button, making it easier to organize. That really, oh, and favorite settings. That's just like a little thing. Solomon Store, new facial hair, 18 new hairstyles. Uh, uh, some dwarven war suit pack. Let's just see. Oh, a shield sword, metal crossbow, two emotes, two two teleport animations in the title. I bet I bet you the two teleport animations. It makes you like jump into a cart or some shit like that. Choose your own outfit, so you could make like this. I was really confused, but I think you could wear something and then you could put that rare inside that thing. Or some shit like that. Uh, I I really didn't fully get this, but I know you could put an item in that item, just like the squid cape or some shit like that. So I think that's pretty interesting, and it's for rares too. So that's pretty cool. And that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe for more. And I will be making more news and uh, my daily videos. So peace, guys.